Hey! Eric Schneider here for GayLoveMatters.com and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm in holiday preparing mode a little bit and uh, doing some cleanup. And as I was cleaning up a little bit, I was thinking a lot about um, regret. Um, and very often, I mean, we all do things or have done things in the past that make us feel regretful and wish that we hadn't done and very often help us uh, kind of have like a springboard into what we would like to do better in the future. But a different kind of regret that I'm thinking about right now is the regret of what I didn't do or what I haven't said. And specifically, it comes up this week, uh, this past week, I was invited to a karaoke holiday party. And I just want to set the stage for you because this wasn't, um, we're all going to get drunk and sing badly karaoke party. And it wasn't one of those tiny little rooms um, where it was you and your besties and it didn't matter how you sang. Um, this was a big room filled with mostly gay men, uh, most of whom were younger than I, a lot younger than I. Um, and more importantly, extremely talented. I mean, I was really in awe. I mean, the, the voices in that room uh, were absolutely incredible. And um, I chickened out. I didn't sing. And I'm kicking myself for it. I really, uh, in hindsight, which is 2020, um, I really felt like I, I missed out. And, you know, it's not, I'm not a singer by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but there are some songs that I sing. Um, I have a little repertoire. Um, mostly old Broadway or old movie sh movies uh, from movies and, and musicals like that. And um, they're corny, um, but hey, I embrace corniness. I'm a corny guy. Um, I like corny. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, the song I sing is from a show that's actually in a revival right now, or one of the songs that I sing is actually in a revival right now, and that's Fiddler on the Roof. And the song I like to sing is If I Were a Rich Man. Um, you probably know how it goes, right? You know, dear God, you made many, many poor people. I realize, of course, that it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, hiya ha dear, 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 dum, all day long I'd biddy biddy bum, if I were a wealthy man. Uh, you know how the rest of it goes. Anyhow. Don't you have applause in your kitchen? Thank you. Thank you. Um, but be that as it may, there are a number of different songs I could have sang, but I'm really kicking myself because I didn't sing. And it was because I felt intimidated and I was kind of awestruck and I was uh, self-conscious. And um, so, Michael, if you're watching this video and we're at karaoke next time, you know what song to put in, uh, at least one of them, um, and just hand me the microphone and I will sing it. You know, coming out of your comfort zone is, is, is an important um, uh, concept for your own personal growth and development. And, you know, we all have the things that we think limit us and we all have, you know, uh, stretching to do. And sometimes it helps to have uh, a friend uh, to kind of coax you out a little bit and pull you out of yourself a little bit so that you can discover new aspects of yourself. So uh, what are your regrets this year? And what would you like to do about them? And what are you actually willing to do about them? And whose help could you enlist to, you know, get you to come out a little bit more? Of course, I'm not talking about dangerous risks. I'm talking about risks that are really good for your ecology and good for your personal growth and development. So that's it today. I got to get back to work and I'll see you next time. Da 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 dum dum da da dee da dee da dee da da dee da dee da.